Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the chamfer feature in Onshape. As you can see on the screen, we have a number of different activities and we're looking at the develop activity today. And we're going to introduce the chamfer technique and look at applying a equal distance okay, chamfer and then move on to actually being able to control the chamfer more by applying two distances and looking at angles. So along the bottom we have a number of tabs. So this tab here gives you an overview of the different challenges or activities within this section. And you can see the ones that we're covering today. You've also got access here to a quick overview of the different resources and tutorials available by different platforms. Within this tutorial, we've got a drawing. We have then got the, the part studio where we're going to apply these features and we've also got a reference okay part here which we can have a look at as well so what we're going to look at is the chamfer so the chamfer is at the top here and you may have a add a chamfer to a part or a design for a number of different reasons so one you may add it for aesthetics to improve the way the product looks or you might add it for ergonomic reasons and maybe even the manufacturing reasons as well, which we can look at in a future tutorial. So what we've got here is the extrude challenge from the first tutorials. And what we did is we created a cube in the middle, and then we learned about different ways of controlling the extrude feature in terms of one direction, two direction, okay, and symmetric and so on. And what I've done is I've applied a couple of different chamfers. So if we look at the first one here and right click on that, we can see we've added a simple equal distance, okay, 10 millimeter, okay, chamfer. So if we go to the tutorial, click on chamfer, and what we're gonna do is to select all these edges of the cube. And in on shape, you do not need to hold control or shift or anything like that. You just continue to click. And as you click, you can see they appear here. So if you want to remove an edge, you can just simply remove it by clicking on the X and then applying another edge if needed. If you made a mistake like I did just then, clicked on that face, okay, then you can delete that as well. So I'm gonna spin this around and just grab all these edges, okay, of the cube. And if we look at, say, Let's have a look. If you look at a view like this, there we go, and we'll look at the corner. You can see here a chamfer adds an angle, okay, along an edge. So it removes that sharp edge and adds a an angle, as you can see. And we have control of this in a number of different ways. So it's not a fillet, it doesn't add a radius, okay, or curve along the edge, it adds a angle, as you can see. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to apply an equal distance and what we'll look at next on a separate model is how to control that distance okay by adding two different values and we'll also look at distance and angle but for this one we're going to apply a simple 10 millimeter and you see once i click to confirm that will change there you go so that's 10 millimeters and what it does from that point there okay where the edge was originally okay it works along here 10 millimeters and works along here 10 millimeters and therefore then it works out that sort of angle there. Unfortunately in Onshape, we don't have any other okay, options here. In some, if I just click that 3D view, there you go. In some of the programs, okay, like Fusion 360 and SolidWorks and stuff like that, you do have extra options here. And what the other options do give you is to change this intersect here. So where the three okay, chamfers connect, in other software, you are you can control, okay, that shape or that meeting point there. But within on shape, we've just got okay these options here. Then we're going to save that, okay. And if we come back out, you can see what's been applied. And if you select, okay, the feature there, it will appear, okay, on screen, and you can view that. And you can spin it around. You can just make sure that we've not missed any of those edges. And again, you can right click on this, you can rename it, you can edit it, delete it, and so on. Okay, and you can even add a comment in case um, somebody else was, you know, sharing this file with you and just wanted to add a comment, you can easily do that as well. So you've got a few different options in here. What we're gonna do it next is apply, 
Okay, the same sort of technique of chamfer to these edges here. Now, what you've got to bear in mind is when you apply a chamfer in this way, and I click this one here, and I click this one here, okay, this is creating a set. So if I wanted, say, for some reason, these two chamfers to be different to what's going to be applied to the other edges, I'd have to save that, okay, and then go into chamfer again and apply a separate chamfer, okay, and that's important to understand. You can't just click on these different ones within here and set them individually, okay, you have to create, okay, set. So I'm going to create a set for all these edges here. So I'm just going to turn around and see, there we go. And we're going for a five millimeter like that. And I'm just going to check, okay, the drawing. And uh, what we're seeing here is, let's have a look. Actually, we need to go way bigger than that. Okay, we want to go 15. So if we go back, like I said before, okay, any of these can be edited. And because I've set all the, or selected all those in one set, okay, I change the value once and all of them will change in one go. So it all depends, okay, what you want to okay, achieve and what you want to have control of. And you can see there, it gives us a preview here, okay, of where that edge was originally and what it looks like after it's been applied. And there you go, I've now added, okay, two sets of chamfers to that design. So we're now gonna learn a little bit more about the chamfer technique and apply some extra options. I'm gonna do a two distance and angle chamfers. So if we go to the drawing, we can see here, if we look at this sort of cross section, okay, on the inside of the holes is a 15 degree by 10. And on the outside, I've, I'm using two distances, okay? And you can also see that here, if you go into the options as well. So if we go to these options, okay, we've got 10, okay, by five. So we could join two distances this time. And if I show you here, Okay, that is controlling 10 millimeters from that point up to there and five millimeters down. And you've also got, okay, controller actually changing that direction as well. So where it actually makes reference from that point, okay, you can flip it. So if we have a go with this one first, so go back to here. Again, go to chamfer. Okay, select all these edges that I want to apply it to. If you wanted to, if you always say wanted to do, say the top and control all those first, you could do that, save it, then go back into chamfer again and you can apply some to the sides or whatever, it depends what you want to do. So I'm just gonna select all these, spin this around, like so. Looks like we've got all those on there. And if we have a look at a close up. So before what we did on the other part, we did an equal distance. So here it's from that point, okay, where the edge was originally, it's gone five millimeters there and down there. So what we're gonna do this time is do a two distance. So at the moment it's saying five and five, but I can type in another dimension there, a value. And as you can see, the 10 millimeters on that one is going from that to point down there and it's going in five on that side. And if I flip it, it's going 10 that across and five down. So it depends on, okay, what you want to achieve in terms of the design. So we can leave that, say 10 to five like that and update it. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to have a go at, if we have a look, complete adding a chamfer to the holes, but this time Okay, we're going to control distance and angle. So 10 millimeters by 15 degrees. So it's, again, it's easy to apply. Just click chamfer. Click on those that you want to apply and add to your set. Like so. So let's spin that around. Yep, got all them. And then we go from the front. And what we're going to do is this time do distance and angle. And of course you've got different values here. So we can say 10 by 45 degrees or whatever we want. 
and save that and you can always go back and ed edit that if you've done it wrong now what I'm going to show you here is just a quick way if we select a face right click and go sectional just going to add a sectional view so we can actually see sort of how this is being applied okay so the first chamfer was applied on those edges there so you can see it's controlling okay those external edges and then we've applied this additional one here and like I said if you go into the tutorial one 10 millimeters by 15 degrees okay and as you saw before I did set that wrong okay you know, you'll see once I click off that okay those will change it gives us a bit of a preview here like that if I click on the flip again you'll see it changes so it, it's referencing obviously that edge okay and depending on how you flip that it will flip between applying the 10 millimeters or 15 degrees okay either side of that as you can see and you click the tick and it gives us a preview of the cross section and again you can go in and edit those all right and to get rid of that cross section you can right click and go turn off so that's sort of a little technique that you may have uh, picked up so adding chamfers okay and adding fillets is really really simple you select the edges you type in your dimensions or your values and angles and you click the green tick and the important thing you just got to think about is which okay edges or features do you want to add to a set so you can then change them in one go if you want to update it and also you need to think about the reasons why you're applying these fillets and chamfers whether that's aesthetics okay maybe to do with functionality or ergonomics or it may be to do with um, to do with manufacturing and that's that's probably the more important thing than actually applying them thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description i'll see you on the next one